So I'm going to do a quick and simple project today to bring a little Christmas cheer into our house. I found some waxed amaryllis. I found these at Trader Joe's. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, this is the cheapest I've seen. They were about seven bucks each. The ones I've seen uh, in other stores are about double that. And basically they're just a big amaryllis bulb dipped in wax. The cool thing about amaryllis is they don't need water to go from the stage they're at now to blooming. And you could do something like this for yourself or for a gift for someone. Uh, but basically they could just be sat on the shelf just like this and just sitting them out like this, they will bloom. In fact, they're already you know pushing up their buds right now. But for purely aesthetic reasons, I'm going to bunch these into a basket with some moss just to look good. And then once the season is over and they've bloomed, uh, we can actually peel the wax off of these and plant them right into the garden where they will continue to grow and multiply every single year. So I'm just gonna take the tags off. They have some base, very basic directions because they really don't need any care. Um, the box that the moss came in from Amazon, I'll put a link to the moss that I got. I just took off some of the, the top of the box and just put it on the bottom. And this is just sphagnum moss that I got on Amazon. I filled the bag up with water, let it get good and soaked, and then drained it all out. So I'm just gonna put a good layer of moss in the bottom here. And then the uh, red ones have red flowers and the silver has white flowers. So I've got two red ones, so I'm gonna put those in the back. I think they need to be raised up a little bit more. I think even more. Glad I got two things of moss. All right, now with the second bag, I'm just going to fill the rest of the basket up and just kind of loosely pack it in around these bulbs. I think I'm gonna actually raise these back two up just a little bit taller than the front one. Now you can actually reuse the sphagnum moss. I would definitely not throw it away after this one use. I'm gonna use it to repot some orchids probably in February. But not bad, it took me about five minutes to do. Very simple, easy for yourself or for a gift. Now, as far as the care of this is concerned, um, they don't need any water. So I would let this dry out a little bit before you take it in the house and put it on something. Let the moss drain a little bit and get dry. They have enough moisture in the bulb and the wax coating actually helps even retain the moisture even better. So they don't need any water. Uh, they need a bright room. They don't need a full sun, but you might want to turn them every few days because they might start leaning one way or another toward the light. And that'll just keep them evened out a little bit. Now I'm a little late doing this project. It takes between four to six weeks for waxed amaryllis to bloom from this stage. Uh, they are sprouting already. So it's probably more on the four week time frame. But then the cool thing is, other than getting to replant them and have them stay around and multiply, uh, they will actually bloom for three to four weeks once they've started. So that's it. Just a fun, easy, inexpensive project to get yourself in the holiday spirit. I'll see you guys next time.